Oh, upgrade. Yeah. Hey there, still absent. Let's see if he sells it. Oh, not quite yet. That's fine. Until next. Oh, but what we can do. Hey there, still absent. It's because we have a lot and we might be worried about dying. Let's buy all his heavy coin purses. Until next time. Then we don't have to worry about that. And we'll go give the sculptor the tea, just for the fun of it. I brought some tea. Mm, this tea smells pretty good. I suppose I'll have some. Oh, I needed that. This tea reminds me of Emma's father. About Lady Emma's father. Dogen. He was an extraordinary doctor. He was also very well versed in mechanisms and devices. Better put, he was obsessed with mechanisms to the point that it affected his health. He didn't take much else seriously, but I owed him my life. Uh, we could say that you owe him your life as well. What do you mean? When I lost my left arm, Dogen created that thing has now become your left arm. The first version was a complete failure, didn't work at all. So he remade it. Then he remade it again and again countless times. <laughs> what? He told me I needed to practice with the prosthetic in order to use it properly. So Emma would pester me into carving her spinning tops and other toys after much training of that sort came to be called a shinobi fang. In other words, that prosthetic arm is Dogen's legacy. His legacy? <sighs> so much time has passed. While I have abandoned my shinobi ways, that alone I could not bear to abandon. So we can give him a bunch of booze for different um, storylines. So we'll treat him to monkey booze. I brought something for you. Monkey booze, is it? Oh, it burns the throat same as ever. This really brings back memories. Did you drink this often? I trained in the techniques of the Chanel valley where the monkeys dwelled. By yourself? No, there were two of us. We were rogue shinobi. There was no proper master for the likes of us. That's why we went to the valley. To run, to jump, to clash swords. Where one slip would mean your doom. That was how we trained. We came to move exactly as monkeys did after a time. I drink this monkey booze whenever I tired of training, and I'd listen to the howl of my partner's whistling finger while I drank. Howl? It was from his unique ring. Whistling through that ring would fill the valley with a somber melody. Strangely enough, I enjoyed that sound. I listened to it so often. I'm just gonna get real drunk. Don't mind if I do. Oh. Oh. Is it not to your liking? No, it's damn good.
Ventura's shadow. I've abandoned him, yet I couldn't abandon him. I never have believed that one such an unsure. So that's a lot of a lot of the story of the sculptor. We get to near sure as a concept that the game doesn't really touch on too too much. And I can't eavesdrop. Well, that's fine. So we've got the gourd seed, converted all our sand into <coughs> uh, pouches, so we're good there. We can acquire some skills. So we're going to go grab projected force and sculptor scars. And then we'll go back and travel back to the beginning, or I guess not the beginning, halfway through the sunken valley. Up. Let's go over there. I forgot if there's anything over here. No. Just another place we can grapple. Go ahead and grab this adamantine scrap. And then we get to the sunken valley proper. Of monkeys. Oop. Speaking of monkey, right there. So the monkeys are gonna run around, alert their friends. Oops. Not mean to take that much fall damage. We're gonna go over here. Some more snap seeds. Next, have some more monkeys. And come down here. Grab some pacifying agent. And we will actually loop around. can see a gathering of monkeys right there and then once we get there we'll deal with one of the interesting things about this game on the PS4. Sneak over here, grab this item because there are a few enemies right there's one right there there's one right there We don't want to alert them because Nightjar ninjas are very annoying. So then we can come over here and grab some spirit emblems. We've alerted a bunch of monkeys. Oop. Didn't peel off them. Very useful. Grab a contact medicine. There's a monkey over there, but let's have taken some fall damage <clears throat> because we killed them in basically one hit. But we'll keep going. There's not a lot of really useful stuff hidden around this valley. So I generally head straight towards the boss. Here's the monkey congregation. I'm gonna go ahead and puppeteer the monkey. There are a few monkeys with guns. Oop, 
that's not the one I want. There we go. Oop. Well, actually... Interesting. Keep healing off these monkeys. Trying to get rid of the gun monkeys. Tokens do dispatch them pretty quickly. As well. And then once you kill them all, you get some more monkey booze, which you can give to somebody else for some storyline of theirs. The three people I know of is you can give it to Sculptor, Emma, or Lord Ishin. <clears throat> and then we keep. Can, oops, missed that item. Come over here. This? Oh, there was an item over there. Go down here. That's what I thought there was three of these guys. Get more contact medicine. There's a lot of poison in here. As this is the one of the poison swamps in the game. see the sculptor's idol and madam down there that we will go get so we'll go grab the sculptor's idol first <coughs> and then head into the valley so the old lady has, uh, hasn't moved over here the old lady on the bridge moves over to here this is one of the locations she spawns at and she will give you a hint to come down here to get some items, or an important item. We'll go ahead and grab it. After I go grab that, those two items right there. This is poison, so... Don't want to stay in it. Heavy coin purse. And I don't think you can actually get on that. So then, once you have that, you can keep going down here. Whoop. And here is the katana wielding monkey. Oh, that guy fell down here. I'm just going to run by him, because I don't feel like dealing with him. And his nonsense. I'm not very good at them. Yeah, he doesn't have anything super 
super useful to purchase. And then, um, how many, this, this costs five. So I have to be careful when doing this part. There are guys that like to pop out of the wall. Oh no, that's not good. to see if I get enough spirit emblems. Could pop a balloon of spirit. Hopefully increase the drop rate. Whoop, there's that guy. guys in the wall. I'm going to peel off these geckos a bit. Oh, that was bad. He fills the area up with poison. <coughs> if you accidentally hit him, Careful. Whoops. Damn. All right. So, due to the lack of spirit emblems, I shall retreat from this area because you need to perform a ninjutsu at the end of it. And I do not have the appropriate. Appropriate number of spirit emblems for that. And don't really seem to be getting them, so. So I shall go ahead and use the homeward idol. Oh, dang it. Click the wrong one. To the second valley. And that's the next boss, but we're not going to go fight him. down into the valley again this time there should not be a random monkey to alert this guy and we can sneak up on this one not use any resources which is much better One of the useful items this guy does sell is he does sell this green mossy gourd, which is 1800, which basically refills on rest and acts as an antidote. So in here, we mostly want to stay away from the edges. Oh, 
did it again. Get rid of you so I don't accidentally poison myself because even enemies that I take over that I poison spray do affect me. Run past the guys popping out of the walls. Gotta make sure I leave at least five. Here, but whoop. we are going to go up here. <coughs> Grab these items. Have guys pop out of the wall. There they <coughs> that one got me. And then go to this grapple point. Grab these bones. We see the item up there. Then we can go down here. Snake sees, looks around. I'm gonna jump down here into the dark. Oh, there were five right there. That's so that when we get to this guy, we can puppeteer him, and then he is going to distract the snake for us, which the old lady on the bridge tells us we should do. And the snake is going to go eat our monkey friend. And while he does that, we run in here and grab this item from this lovely statue, which is the Dried Serpent Viscer. An item that really has no use outside of our own progress. Gonna go grab this item. And then our way out we see, oh no, the snake has blocked our exit. What shall we do? And then we look around for the grapple point to go take us out. This is actually going to take us to a different point in the Ashina Depths, which is somewhere we'll go after we finish that. But we'll go ahead and grab this point, this statue for now. And then we are going to travel right back to the valley. We are going to fight this boss. So this boss has two items that work particularly well on him. One is the firecracker, and one is the spear. Okay, I was gonna say I'm pretty sure we got the spear. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So we're gonna walk over. He's gonna yell at us. We can throw firecrackers. They basically stun him, so we can do that. But I won't use them too much for this fight. Oop, we're supposed to jump over that. And one of the problems with this fight is when he does throw you into a wall, it's very disorienting. He's gonna pull poop out, throw poop at us, which inflicts a lot of poison damage. He's flinch. You can deflect his attacks, but you cannot deflect them to death. Oops. 
gotten too greedy on him. Whenever he gets far away, he likes to do that. Throw his poop at you. Here he comes. It's always important to watch what he's doing to find the open spots. to wait for opportunities to heal too. Well, that's a lot of healing used. Not really. This is a big attack where you can get some attacks on. Like when he's not on you to make sure that your pasta bottom doesn't break. Jump over there. Let him run away. Just need to dodge to the side of that. He just might fart at me. There we go. Now he's gonna fart at me. And he'll always poop after this. Which is another big opening for counter attacks. And then, because every boss is two phases. This is not the end. So on the second phase, the spear is going to be very useful because there's an attack that when you deflect it, opens them up to be speared in the neck hole. And it deals a lot of damage and posture damage. It's always a sweep attack. He does this yell, you gotta be far away from. It rapidly inflicts Terrify, which will kill you, and then he'll do this. You can run behind him and get some attacks in. Always a sweep. Whenever you're far away, he likes to do the slither across the ground and do a side swipe. You can just run around to his side. Oop. Apparently I can't describe what I'm doing. And attack him from behind. Uh, yeah, that is what happens when you don't get out of there fast. Let's see if I close that. Just get behind him and do that. You only have time for about two attacks. Learning how to deflect this attack right here. And then you fall forward, stab him in, and hit R2 again to pull out pull out the centipede. That's fine. He likes to do the sweep attack today. If you don't get the deflect, he does not fall down. Just get some few hits on him when he slides past you. He's gonna roar again. Which just really drags out the fight. Slide in at me. Nope, he's gonna walk. And then goes up, and deflected, in, a lot of 
deal damage to him. Oh! I've never seen him do that attack. In five places. Let's go past him. And here it is again. And this will be the kill. <clears throat> and then we pull out his centipede and attack it. He drops his head. 